Hello everyone, I'm Hong Wai. Hey, why I'm speaking English? Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so this will be my very very first official English content video, and I hope you guys can understand my English pronunciation and also please ignore my grammar mistakes. Okay, so for past weekend, it is the Bushiroad Spring Fest 2019, and there is a Cut Fat Vanguard Premium on Saturday, and also Cut Fat Vanguard Standard Format on Sunday, and both formats is running in team because it's a team league, as you guys know, and also I've participated in both formats with. The irregulars in premium standard format and also neon nectar in standard format. So in premium, my team have scored three two in five swiss and unable to get up to top eight. And in standard, my team score seven one, which is five swiss full win and also top eight, top four and finals. My team have achieved first runner up in this standard event. Okay, firstly, we have something to discuss today. So in this premium standard current meta, you can still see dark irregulars around. Although the enigmatic assassin have been limited to one piece. <laughs> assassin. If I'm not wrong, this is the first regional championship right after the latest restriction list. In the event, which is in premium standards format, I can still see a lot of Bermudas. Although the stand triggers have been limited to one, and also there is still Bermuda topping. In this tournament, in next few weeks in Japanese Cup Fight Vanguards, they will be releasing a brand new Bermuda boosters, and there is chances that these Bermuda boosters will be able to use during ACQ, which is Asia Championship qualifier. So you guys have to be well prepared for phasing or using the deck. On the other hand, in the standard format, it is still filled up with a lot of ninjas, which is Murakumo and also OTT Oracle Team Tank. But I have not much comment for standard format. Okay, and now is the most interesting part, which I found two decks that is unexpected but topping in this event. I will be starting with the premium. Deck first is a Pure Moon Hurry deck. Okay, so this Pure Moon Hurry deck in premium format is piloted by the champion team members, William from Singapore. And here is the deck list. From what I can see and think of, this deck list is this card, this card, this card, and this card. So there are parallel Mega Trick Fairfield and also. And also Nightmare Door Alice, which is in the the Alice in the V series, and also Nightmare Door Gimme, and also lastly Nightmare Door Lastly. So what can we do with these four cards? First of all, you can strike Fairfield during GB3, okay, and also activate the Fairfield effect and call out Lastly from your soul, and Lastly we're able to get. 10k when additional critical. After you call Leslie out, make sure you have at least on your rear guard as well, so you can use your Leslie to whack 27k with one crit in XL circle, and your Alice attack. Activate Alice ability, and you move your Alice into the soul and call out another unit other than Alice. Which is you can call out Gimme from your soul, okay? So when the Alice move to soul, your Leslie stand, which is you can attack one more time with the Leslie. So when your Gimme appear on Vega Circle, it can be activated effect again, and then move back to soul and call out Alice again. So it's a little small loop, but your Leslie can attack multiple times with 27k and also additional crits. 
Wow, wow, wow. From what I heard from the user, which is William, this deck will be having a very, very bad matchup with certain decks. For example, like Bermuda NG, but with the 10k trigger that will be released soon in English format and also the Sprite Brother GB8. So, what you guys think about this combo? Is it working? Let me know in the comment down here. So, the other deck is Go Paladin in standard format, but it is definitely not Azel. It is Gamon, piloted by Armor, which is the first runner up team members in standard format, which is my team. Yeah, from Malaysia, of course. So, here is the deck list. Okay, so what the difference? between Azel and the Gamos that Azel is able to be superior right during your opponents in grade 1 but you have to gather all the materials and all the resource to actually make that happen you might not able to actually gain quite a lot of hand size or you might not able to keep so many hand size for the further fight okay the difference between Azel and also Gamma is their hand size for Azel mostly we will be have a lot of resources in order to get to make the superior right during opponents grade 1 or grade 2 happens in order to rush them with the Raven crit and also guard restrictions but for Gamma you able to fill up the field very fast and also you will not be actually required too much of resource all the resources able to be propped up so you can be having a full fill with a guardable hand size this is the difference although Gamma do not have the burst power but it's still able to make quite a number of multiple attacks compared to Azel. Azel able to superior right in the very 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 early game but the hand size might not be able to guard for certain decks so after you look through the deck list and also you can think of what you can do with these cards what's your opinion do you think Gamma is good or Azel is still better than Gamma since it's a VR and Gamo only a triple R is a low budget deck. Let me know your opinions in the comment below this video. That's all for today. I hope you guys enjoy my video and understand what I'm talking about. I'm sorry for my bad English. If you like my video, can you help me to like, share and subscribe. And I will be coming up with more English content with some smoother speakings in English. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.